All right, so for all of you that are frustrated with back pain, continuing to have aches and pains throughout the day, after sitting for a long period of time, standing for a long period of time, any of these movements can cause stiffness in your low back. And so I wanna show you some exercises you can do in a short amount of time to get yourself some relief. My name's Alyssa and I'm a doctor of physical therapy with Keep the Adventure Alive Physical Therapy and Performance based here in Salt Lake City, Utah. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I would love to see how many people like this video so that more people can see it across the YouTube channel. Also, if you're not subscribed, click that red subscribe button below because that way you're gonna get updates whenever I release new videos because I release new videos quite frequently throughout the week. So I really hope you enjoy this video. All you need is a chair. That is the only equipment you need and let's go. I'm using this bench for my chair, but I just want you to start marching one leg at a time. Low back pain responds best to movement. So the more that we rest, the more that we stay sitting or laying down, actually we're not doing much benefit to our back by resting it. We have to move. When we don't move, those muscles get tight. But when we do move, they're able to loosen up. And now I want you to step sideways. So you're just stepping side to side. Make sure your chair's not in the way, but you're just stepping side to side, just getting things moving. And now what I want you to do is you're gonna step and reach across and then step and reach across. So you're adding in some arm movements and we're kind of stretching out that back a little bit. Step and reach across five four three two and one we're going back to those marches and i want you to try to go a little bit higher this time so try to bring those legs up a little bit higher And now you're gonna step sideways, but you're gonna make it a little bit higher. So you're gonna pretend that you're stepping over an object, forward and back. Step over that object, really start opening up those hips. Go as high as is comfortable. And we have five more, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now, last exercise for the warm up. I want you just to stand with your feet pretty close together. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap forward, alternating sides, tapping forward, Staying up nice and tall, squeezing those core muscles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so for the first exercise, all of these exercises are going to be focusing on our hips and our legs, because those are absolutely key to fighting low back pain and bringing your hips in to support your spine and your low back muscles. So the first exercise, you can hang on to the chair if you want to, but you're gonna turn, I'll turn this way. We're gonna stand on the right leg and you're gonna kick that left leg back. But the key is staying up nice and tall and we're not bending over. So you're just kicking that leg straight back, really focusing on those glutes. So your low back's not moving at all, your torso's not moving. 
You're staying up nice and tall and keeping that leg straight. And we go until we start to feel a little bit of fatigue. So we're going to do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now you're gonna switch. So now you're gonna stand on that left leg and kick that right leg back. Same thing, you're staying up nice and tall, keeping that leg as straight as you can. Ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now go ahead and find your chair and stand right in front of it. If it's a low chair, you might want to find a pillow or something so it brings up the chair a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do a squat. So you're going to reach back for that chair and stand up. So you're keeping your chest up. You're reaching back for that chair and standing up. Try to avoid sitting all the way back when you sit down. So reach back and stand up. Like I said, if you need to grab a pillow or something to make, or a cushion to make the seat height higher, because I, this shouldn't cause pain, and then you're gonna stand up. Reach back for that chair and stand up. You wanna try to keep your nose over your toes on this one to get some momentum and then stand up. Reach back and stand up. Reach back and stand up. We're gonna do five, take it at your own pace. Five left. Two left. And last one. All right. Now, we're going to stand up and we're going to do a reverse lunge. So, it looks like this. You're going to step back. You can use your chair to hold on to, kitchen counter, whatever it may be. And you're just going to come down just as low as is comfortable and step back. Step back, bend both knees, and come forward. Step back, bend both knees, and come forward. If it starts to feel awkward, you might not be taking a big enough step. So sometimes when you're taking those small steps, it feels kind of awkward. So take a big step back, bend both knees, and come up. Take a big step back, bend both knees, and come up. Big step back, bend both knees. You're just going down as low as is comfortable. As low as is comfortable. Again, if you need support, that is one way to really help get you more control and to help kind of support your body weight. But this should not be causing pain. We're staying up nice and tall. You're just stepping back and coming forward. And we're just gonna do four more here. Again, go at your own pace. And last one. Okay. So now, we're going to go back to the chair. And I want you to try something. So when you sit down, I want you to keep your chest up 
nice and tall. And you're going to bring your feet underneath you. But you're going to put one foot in front of the other. So it's going to look like this. So you're going to stagger your stance. So I'm going to put my right foot in front and my left foot behind. We're going to do both sides so it doesn't matter where you start. But now I want you to try to stand up like this. So you're going to stand up. If you need to, you can use the arms of the chair. But what this is doing is it's making the leg that's behind you work a little harder. So you're going to stand up and then reach back and sit back down. Stand up, reach back and sit back down. We're going to do five more on this side. Four. Reach back and sit down. Your hips have to bend first. Hips bend first and then the knees. Hips bend first and then the knees. Just two more. Sit your hips back. And last one. All right. Now we're going to switch. Bring your other foot behind and your other foot in front. The further that front foot is in front of your other foot, the harder it's going to be. So the further away it is, the harder it's going to be. The closer it is, it makes it a little bit easier. So I want you to be successful and be able to stand up. So same exact thing. We're going to stand up and down, and we're going to do 10. Ready? Here we go. One. Reach back. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one and 10. Awesome job. Now go ahead and bring both feet back and have a seat. You're just going to have both feet down right underneath your knees. And if you have a chair that has a back, that's okay. Try to scoot out to the edge. And what we're going to do is you're going to lean back, use those core muscles, and sit forward. Lean back and sit forward. Now, one thing I want you to avoid is arching your back as you're going back. I want you to keep your back as flat as you can and come forward. So we're not arching going back. Tuck your stomach in and lean back and then come forward. Tuck your stomach in, lean back, and come forward. Now, you're in a chair, so you're not, you shouldn't be leaning back super far. Even if you're on a surface that doesn't have a back like I am, just control it. So you're just moving in a small, small range, tucking that stomach in, though. Tuck that stomach in. Tuck that stomach in. We're going to do three more. Tuck it in, two more, tuck it in, and last one, okay. Now, go ahead and stand up, find some space. We're going to start by standing on the right leg, and what you're going to do is you're going to get into a, just a small bent position, and you're going to step just lightly tap with that left leg. Lightly tap. Most of your weight should be in that right leg that you're standing on. Tap, tap, tap. Awesome job. Keep going. We want to start to feel some fatigue in that hip. We're going to do 10 more, but like I said, go at your own pace. 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now other side. So stand on that left leg, bend your knees just a little bit, and you're gonna step the other way, trying to keep most of the weight in the leg you're standing on. Awesome job. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab your chair, but what you're gonna do is you're going to put your hands on the seat of it. So you're gonna put your hands on the seat of it and you're gonna walk your feet out. So you're in a plank position. If the chair is too low for you for this, you can find a bed, find a couch, even a kitchen counter will work. But you're gonna be in that nice plank position where you're pushing through your shoulders, squeezing those glutes. And I just want you to hold it here. Get comfortable in this position. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring one leg slowly up at a time. If that's too hard for you, just try to lift one foot, bring your knee up just as high as you can to make it harder. Try to bring your knee all the way up. So this is just like a traditional mountain climber. If you've ever done those, you're pushing through your shoulders still and avoiding arching your back. So you're keeping it nice and flat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we have a couple more exercises. So we're gonna go back to that side stepping because that's one that we really wanna get good at. Standing on your right leg, you're stepping to the side with the left. Again, try to keep all that weight on the right leg. You're just lightly tapping. You're staying up nice and tall. We're not leaning over. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Stand on that other side and you're gonna step to the side. Lightly tap, keep your chest up tall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going back to that chair, back to that plank position. So, hands on the bottom of the chair, make sure that it's going to be stable. Walk your feet out, push through your shoulders, and squeeze those glutes so you're tucking your hips underneath you and we're not arched up here. Tuck those hips underneath you and hold here for just about 10 more seconds. And then what we're gonna do is again, lift one leg up at a time. We're not arching when you're lifting up so keeping those hips tucked underneath you, really trying to squeeze those stomach muscles. The lower you lift your leg, the easier it'll be to add more difficulty, lift it up one at a time. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one walk your feet up 
and have a seat in the chair. So now what I want you to do is I just want you to try to lift one knee up. Try to lift it up just as high as you can and you can even lean forward a little bit and you should feel a stretch in your back. Just try to hug your knee as close as you can. And then switch. If this is hard for you, you can also lay all the way down on a bed or a couch and you can try to pull one knee up this way. But it's up to you. One really isn't better than the other. It's just a personal preference of whatever feels best for you. So lean forward. Okay. And now what we're going to do is you're going to bring your legs in and out, in and out, in and out. Walk them out and bring them back in. Two more, and last one. Okay, so back pain can be very tricky, and there can be some that respond to different movements. So if some of these movements didn't feel so great for you, that's okay, because exercises are not meant to be a one-size-fits-all. So if these exercises didn't feel great for you, go ahead and comment below, and then I will reach out to you. Or you can go to my website, www.keeptheadventurealive.com, where you will see where you can schedule a free consultation with me. Because if you are spinning your wheels with back pain and can't seem to get rid of it, you're always aching, always in pain, then that is not normal, not something that I want to help you address. If this video did work for you, go ahead and keep doing it. But the important thing is we need to keep progressing. So we can't just stay at the same level. We have to keep making it a little bit more difficult so our back and legs can continue to get stronger. If you want to know and be updated on all my other videos, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below and then click the bell. So that's gonna give you updates whenever I release new videos. If you did like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so I know that you watched it and that you enjoyed it. And go ahead and comment below if you did like it, if some exercises hurt you, if it made pain better, if you feel so much better afterwards, let me know. I would love to hear if you did this video and if it was helpful for you. My name's Alyssa with Keep the Adventure Alive Physical Therapy and Performance, and thank you so much for watching.